Well, I'm really pleased that the energy productivity of the U.S. economy continues to improve. Uh, when you look at GDP growth and energy consumption, there has clearly been a decoupling in that area, and as a result, we've had significant emissions reductions. In terms of changes to the U.S. electricity mix, you asked about renewable energy, a very exciting story. I mean, we started the decade at about 8% of generation coming from renewable energy in the United States, and we ended at 18%. So very big changes for a sector that people said, you know, really couldn't change in a decade or multiple decades you know the the old saying was you know it's a hundred year uh, industry and and things take a very long time to change well we've seen very significant changes in renewable energy in just a short period of time and when you compare renewable energy at the end of 2019 to other segments of our electricity mix we're nearly on par with nuclear nuclear represents 20 percent of the US electricity mix and you know renewables are mainstream So the 2020 fact book focuses a lot on this concept called the empowered consumer. And the empowered consumer can be at the household level or it could be at the company level. And in 2019, we saw 13.6 gigawatts of procurements by businesses for renewable energy in the United States. And this was a record breaking year. And now companies are really driving demand for renewable energy. You know, at the household level, opportunities for rooftop solar or other distributor, distributed generation sources combined with energy efficiency technologies allows consumers at the household level to do things they, they really couldn't do before in terms of their energy choices. The Business Council for Sustainable Energy seeks a market-based, economy-wide approach to addressing greenhouse gas emissions. We'd like it to be inclusive of the geographical resource mix of different parts of the country, but have strong and aggressive goals to reduce our emissions. We need to follow what the scientific, com scientific community has said we need to do in terms of lowering our emissions. And we feel that the results of the last decade the growth in energy efficiency, renewable energy, clean generation sources like natural gas give us a foundation to achieve those longer term goals.